Moving along, the Louisville School Superintendent got a slap on the hand from Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton for his message to teachers. The district says it was just a get out the vote campaign. Paxton calls it unlawful electioneering. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is live at the Louisville ISD administration building with a story. Natalie. Well, Heather, when it comes down to it, both sides have opposing views about education reform and spending priorities, and now they are clashing as we approach the primaries. Educators, it's time to use your teacher voice and let the Texas legislature know you've had enough. Louisville Schools Superintendent Kevin Rogers in a video posted to the district's website urging teachers to vote in the March primary. It is time to send a clear message to those who oppose public schools, who want to take away the core of our communities, who want to divert precious funds from public schools and give it to for-profit organizations. The video does not specifically name a political party or candidate, but Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton was made aware of it and sent a cease and desist letter to Louisville ISD and two other Texas districts, accusing them of violating Texas Education Code when it comes to electioneering. The letter says school districts may not use state or local funds or other resources to electioneer for or against any candidate, measure, or political party. You've seen the video. Yes. Does it cross the line? It's right on the line. Uh, I think the most problematic aspect of it is that it does reference specific policies. The video talks about particular things that happened in the legislature that the school district opposed. So in that sense, it's a kind of a specific political statement that runs afoul of the law. SMU professor Matthew Wilson says a bigger issue is at play, electing candidates that support or oppose a school choice, which could affect state spending on public education. Very clearly the issue that the school districts is, are concerned about is the school choice question. They don't like school choice. They don't want any sort of voucher system. They want voters to elect candidates who will oppose major overhauls of current school financing system. Paxton is on the other side of that question. And so this really is kind of a proxy fight over the school choice issue. And Wilson questions the real impact the video might have. If all the action in a lot of these districts is really in the Republican primary, and a lot of teachers are Democrats, are they really gonna show up and vote in a Republican primary? Now, Louisville ISD issued a statement which reads in part, we dispute any characterization of the district's get out the vote campaign as anything other than an effort to engage the LISD staff and community in their constitutional right to vote and advocate for themselves. Now, we did request an on-camera interview with the superintendent, but we were told that he is una wasn't unable to do so because he's out of town at a conference.